Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our verse is Ephesians 5, verses 33. So again I say, each man must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. And although I'm a pastor, many times I fail to love my wife in the way that I should. Sometimes I'm selfish, and I don't put her first. And other times I'm just ignorant about how to love her in the way that she needs to be loved, as we have different love languages. So I decided I would share a lesson I learned through my failures. See, we don't have the perfect marriage. We fight and we argue mostly over things so stupid that we can't even remember what they were about. But one thing that I know I can count on is that I know that she will always have my back because of the struggles that we have worked through in the past, because of the times that she has shown me love and respect and grace, I know that I can always rely on her. And when I get upset or frustrated with her, I can always remember back to the ways that she has loved me in the past and my mindset changes. In my mind, she's no longer my enemy, but she's my ally and my friend. And because of the ways that she has loved me in the past, I am more easily able to love her in turn. And it ends up being this cycle of continually loving one another and showing each other grace and mercy. And if you are struggling to love or feel love because you feel like you and your spouse always feel like enemies, then I want you to take a moment and think of a way that you can serve your spouse. Most of the times, an easy way, uh, easy way to break the tension and to begin handling conflict in a healthy way is just to serve your spouse in a very, very simple way. See, we, we were actually just chatting through this very topic in our life group, and we joked about how it could be something as easy as making your spouse a cup of coffee. <laughs> Earlier, I spoke about love languages, and we all feel and give love in different ways. And a book titled The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman has helped us to figure out and communicate the ways that we feel loved and has given us insight on how my wife and I can better express love to one another. Now, I'd encourage you to check out their book or to take the online test to see what you and your spouse's love language is. I might even be able to convince our production team to drop a link for you as well. In Luke chapter 6, Jesus tells us to love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who mistreat you. If we are to do this for our enemies, how much more are we to do these things for our spouses? Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video. Go make your spouse a cup of coffee, and we will see you tomorrow.